Hello and welcome to all of my beautiful vibrant hearts and ephemeral souls who are Aries suns, have big Aries placements, or are cross watchers for Aries. Welcome to your month ahead messages. These are going to be looking at the month of June 2024. If you're interested in love messages, I have a separate Patreon tier um, that offers monthly zodiac love messages. So those are really neat. You can check those out. You'll have access to all of the zodiac signs. The link to that is down below. Um, but yeah, that's what I got for an intro. Let's get into it, shall we? <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies are terrible. So I'm going to be pulling an oracle card to look at your overarching theme and then further tarot to clarify. Okay, that's too many, too many themes. I expect nothing less from Aries. Except for vibrant enthusiasm, bordering on occasional mania. That's what we love about you guys. Um, at the bottom is abundance. Oh, 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 oh. I really like that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Allergies have just been terrible. So no matter what, you have abundance coming through. Um, I feel like too, I know this isn't this is a weird interpretation with the little lute here. I'm almost getting this energy of people singing your praises, people's names gonna be in their mouths in a very positive no, your name is gonna be in their mouths. Somebody's name goes into somebody's mouth. <laughs> now in a very, very positive way though. Um, some of you, if you make music or you've been trying to get your music to kind of take off or be more recognized, you're going to get like a boom in popularity, um, this month. That is very, very nice. We like that. Um, but yeah, just in general, you might be getting good news about your abundance. That doesn't have good news, everyone. Um, that doesn't have to necessarily be connected to your message, but let's see what you got. <coughs> Healing. Oh, I love this. This is going to be a month of a lot of healing. You have a lot of angelic support with you, a lot of spiritual support in your healing process. Sorry if you could hear my stomach rumble. Um, if you guys have had to work really, really hard for your career, it feels like with that abundance message, you might be getting some time to rest this month. You're finally finding peace on something that's been bothering you for a long, long time. So let's I actually want to give this a little shuffle. <clears throat> Yeah, I cut the deck and we have the Eight of Swords and then Death. Some of you, it's like you know you need a change or something needs a change for some of you, it's career. And you haven't really known what to do or whether or not to give up on something. You're getting insight this month about changes that need to be made. And it does feel like um, it's something that brings rest. For some of you, these are changes you have made and you didn't know if they've like been the right move. This is going to be a month where you're getting time to really find some peace after, yeah, three of pentacles reversed when I cut the deck. A lot of you guys, and then eight of swords again, have had to, a lot of you guys have had to like make some tough calls about work. Um, for some, because the word is interference, you've had to make some tough calls to cut out certain relationships that are interfering with your goals, that are interfering with your overall vision for your life. Um, that are just not in alignment. And it's like, now you finally get to rest. Now you finally get to heal. <clears throat> so let's see. Yep. Three of Pentacles reversed with works. The Magician. Okay. Some of you are manifesting a new job or something. And the Eight of Swords. What the? F okay. Um, the Star. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Gemini Virgo energy showing up. Um... A little bit of Aquarius. At the bottom is the Seven of Swords in reverse. The word in this deck is futility. I feel like a lot of you guys have been struggling with work. A lot. That's the main message I'm getting. <clears throat> oh my gosh. For some of you, people don't appreciate what you bring, your unique um, style of doing your job. Like what you uniquely are able to offer. For some, you do, you work really, really well, but you might work better independently. I know that's, 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 that's the Aries way. Um, or it may just be that the people you're paired with at work are not a good fit for your skill set, are not, they, you guys are just not a cohesive unit. And it's getting to the point where it almost feels like your work is not being recognized because of the people that you're surrounded by. I'm hearing the phrase red tape. So I don't know. <laughs> I love I I don't know if like y'all are just like uh just just the the most Aries Aries there are, but it's definitely stereotypical Aries energy here. But um <clears throat> 
it feels like yeah, the people that you're working with are are not, um, you guys are just so different that it's like getting to the point where maybe you're always having to clean up their messes. You're always having to, uh, like you're like five steps ahead and they're kind of just like, mm -mm -mm, and you have to wait for them to catch up. Um, there could be like, again, a lot of like red tape or like bureaucratic crap you don't want to deal with, especially because we have interference. And in this deck, there are the strings um, attached to um, this person's limbs, right? So you feel, you may have felt like you were being puppeted in this situation, or you're just really limited and constrained, possibly manipulated for some. You've even straight up, and we'll pull clarifiers, you may have even straight up had really like toxic manipulative coworkers in a toxic workplace. And this is what you're finally releasing this month. And we'll figure out kind of more of the details of what that looks like. But with the magician, you're manifesting a way out of this situation. Because <clears throat> I feel like with the Eight of Swords, um, and the word being interference, you knew that this wasn't working um, and that something was kind of like the dynamic was always holding you back in some way, shape or form, but didn't know how to get out of it. So Spirit, what is this Three of Pentacles? It's not that. Okay. What is the Three of Pentacles in reverse? What is this Three of Pentacles in reverse energy? Oh, okay. Justice in reverse. Um, could have been a Libra that you're dealing with. What is this Magician? Oh, what's this one? The Queen of Swords. It's like a lightning bolt just hit the tip of my... But yeah. Um, so a lot of air energy here. Um, and then... Wow. Yeah, okay. Uh, for the Eight of Swords, we have the Hermit and the Page of Pentacles fall out. Now a lot of Earth energy. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, specifically Virgo emphasis very heavily here. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then very heavy uh, Libra energy here. And the Magician is both Gemini and Virgo, so that's perfect. And we have the Page of Wands. There you are <laughs> at the bottom. Of all the court cards, I, I associate different court cards with different signs in the suit. And of all the fire court cards, I always think of the Page of Wands as Aries, so I really love that. Uh, Seven of Wands reversed. You guys are releasing something uh, this month. You may have already released it, and this is a month again where you're finally getting some peace um <clears throat> excuse me but three of pentacles reversed clarified by justice reverse this is a work situation that has not been treating you fairly has not been taking you seriously for some you were bound by contract um and you've been trying to get out of it um you've been trying to cut yourself free in some form or fashion uh and again it's that recognition of like this is not something that honors you that takes you seriously that is a good fit for you it holds you way out of balance in some form or fashion uh, the Magician clarified by the Queen of Swords is mwah, magic, magic. Um, and the reason why is because you are finding your power this month to release yourself. So if you've already let go of this, let's say you've gotten out of the contract, you've gotten out of the job, there's also a heavy legal emphasis here. So again, contractual obligations may have been at play. Um, this is a month where you're finally getting your mind right about it, right? You're not worrying about it again with healing you're finally like finding some peace about this. Some of you, it's just a literal peace of mind, like it's off my plate. I don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> um, for some, you are finding your power with the Magician and the Queen of Swords to cut yourself loose. And the way that this will happen, the Queen of Swords is the feminine energy principle of the sword suit, meaning she draws to her and receives information. So the way this will be happening is you will be getting a piece of information, understanding or insight that you need in order to call the shots with the magician to manifest the outcome you desire to, uh, for many, again, cut yourself loose, cut yourself free in some way, shape or form. Um, and the Eight of Swords clarified by the Hermit and the Page of Pentacles. This feels like, again, after a long time of trying to figure this out, of trying to go it alone, of feeling very alone, even if you're like, I'm getting this energy of I'm carrying a whole damn team. Um, of essentially in some way, shape, or <clears throat> way, shape, or form being alone. The hermit's carrying an hourglass, so it feels like there is a certain element of like, I have to bide my time, I gotta wait. Some of you have been laying very low, some of you have been not fighting to take the appropriate credit that you deserve for something. It feels like after having to wait your turn, you're able to start fresh with the Page of Pentacles. What is this Page of Pentacles? Six of Wands of Victory. Oh, Aries, I love this for you. I love it. Um, yeah, sorry. So the Six of Wands feels like you're finally getting your victory, right? You're finally getting publicly recognized. For some, you've been wanting to leave a job and you had to wait till you got another solid 
you know, you like lock something else down, you are getting it and you now are able to leave your current job. So it's going to be like, ha big reveal. Um, for others, you've been, you've been working on like a project or something to like impress your boss or try to get a different position and you're finally getting it or you're getting to present it and it's going to go very, very well. Uh, we have the Knight of Cups reversed at the bottom. This feels like you guys have been really struggling because whatever this was was very heavily weighing on you emotionally. So this is going to be a month <clears throat> where you are given with the Page of Pentacles um, a fresh new start, right? You are given, um, you're going to feel very victorious, even if it's just like you're not dealing with like the toxicity and the unfairness that you were dealing with before. Um, you are you're starting fresh this month and it's going to be a very restorative, healing, peaceful month for you. Um, a large weight is going to be lifted off your shoulders. So that is what I have for you guys. I am wishing you a safe, happy, healthy month ahead. Once again, if you want love messages, those are linked down below. I hope to see you there. Um, so yeah, have a beautiful month. I have loved spending the time with you guys. Thanks. Take care.